Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the movie realization Ashigaru Stormtrooper from Star Wars. So this would go nicely with that Boba Fett we looked at, the Ronin Boba Fett. Very cool looking figure. Uh, and just so you know, I'm not getting lazy. I didn't just accidentally leave my ruler in there. I had to do that to prop up the box. So don't think badly of me. I apologize for the blue ruler making a sneak appearance. But this guy's really cool. I dare say he may be better than Boba Fett, technically speaking. Of course, Fett had a really cool paint job and is Boba Fett, so he looked really nice and was a cool figure. This guy, on a technical basis, is technically a little bit better. And I said technical twice, but that's okay because it's true. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands roughly... Seven and a quarter inches tall, which makes him just about 18, a little over 18 centimeters, so definitely has some size to him. If you're, if you're familiar with this movie realization line, you know they are bigger than your average figure arts. But they're very much in the same vein as figure arts. They're made mostly the same way, so you pretty much know what to expect, but we'll go through it anyway. First thing, though, let's look at the paint job. It's both really good and problematic. You can see there's tons of detail in the paint job throughout all of the little sculpted details. It's all painted. Everything is painted on there, so it looks really good. However, we have some issues with this guy. Like right here, I'm not sure what happened, but he's got some bluish gray schmutz on there. So that's that's not great. And it's, it's kind of like that in a couple other areas too, but it's still not a horrible problem. And you can see just lots of really nice detail, so that's good. Before we go on, let's look at the accessories. We get the two fist hands, as you would expect. Very nicely detailed, but not a whole lot to talk about, so we get fist hands. Then we get trigger finger hands, except that's not what I grabbed, so we'll talk about these instead. These are the sword holding hands, because he comes with a sword, and I'll show you that in a minute. So those are pretty good. And now I can show you the trigger finger hands, because I'll grab the right ones. There they are, and they are pretty good. Nice organic sculpt work on there, so no problems. We have gripping hands for the sword. So these guys are going to hold the katana, no problem. It'll slide right in there. Nice sculpt work on there. We have gripping hands for the scabbard. No problem there. Nice little open grip so they can hold those or hold that. And then we have trigger finger hands because we need to be able to use our gun. And you can't hold a gun without having a finger in the trigger guard. So that's what we have there. If you're going to have a gun, you need to have a gun. So here it is. Nicely detailed. Very well done. Does this thing move? It does. Just like on Boba Fett. Very nice looking gun. Well detailed. Lots of uh, nice paintwork on there. And then we have the sword, which is removable and nicely detailed. We have the edge sculpted on there and the nice wrapping on the handle. So very, very cool looking piece. And the good thing about this guy right here is that the sword can go onto this piece, which is hinged on this one. And it wasn't on Boba Fett, or at least it was stuck on the one I reviewed if it is hinged. But that lets you move it around and it will provide for some better posing options and it's pretty darn cool. Uh, that's it though. He doesn't come with as many accessories as uh, as Boba Fett. But he still has a nice batch of them. So I'm okay with it. Let's take that off for the rest of the review though. Just to save some space. Alright, so for the head articulation. it's I think it's just a double ball peg. One down here and then one at the top of the neck. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a hinge mixed in there anywhere. But you can still move the head around pretty well. This guy's hinged right here. So it won't gets stuck out like that you can fold it down so that's pretty cool all of these are separate pieces that are glued on so they will flex if you need them to and these guys are soft also so lots of the pieces that stick out are indeed soft and you won't have to worry about them breaking for the shoulder articulation we have a little ball peg on there for this front guard and it allows it to come forward all the way like you would want it to doesn't go around on the side because that's not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to face forward more because that's where the armor would need to be protective. So that's not a problem. I don't know if people are complaining about that or not. I hope not because it's supposed to be like that. And then for the shoulder articulation, we have a ball peg. Can we just pop that off? Yes, we can. We have a ball peg that lets the entire arm move around in there. And this is just a cup that kind of hides it. 
sticks out a little bit, but it's not bad, especially once you put the armor down, so that's pretty good. We have our standard hinge and bicep swivel, as you would expect. Double jointed elbow with pretty good range. It's not the best looking joint in the world, but it's definitely good enough. We have a forearm swivel built into that, so that's good. And we have our nice hinge. It'll rotate at both ends and has the, technically it's a ball peg at this end, so pretty good. Nice uh, range of motion for the arms. Let's see if I can get this peg back on. Yeah, I can, nice and easy. These are nice and soft, by the way, too, if you didn't notice, so they won't get in the way of any posability. Now for the torso, we just basically have a single ball peg. It's nicely hidden because this looks like it's sculpted onto the torso, but it's not. It's a separate piece. So you can rotate it around pretty well, but as far as leaning forward and back, it's, uh, it's very limited. Side to side, still pretty limited, so don't expect a ton. This is all nice and soft plastic, so that won't get in the way of too much. Uh, but it is all one piece, so it will be a little bit encumbering. Uh, unfortunately, this guy right here doesn't come apart. That would have been such a good opportunity to give you another accessory, but it does not. That's, that's annoying. It's cool that he came with the katana and the tanto. But, uh, that's, it doesn't come out, so that's kind of a bummer. I guess that's a tanto, right? I don't know, I haven't been sleeping, so I could be saying the wrong word completely. So these are all flexible. These are connected to the leg, so that's a bit of a bummer, kind of like with FET, but you can still bring the legs fairly far forward. Not too much, but I guess it's okay. I mean, it could be better, but it's okay. They go out to the side pretty far, and you do get a thigh swivel in there, so the hips and the lower torso right here are really the biggest problem on this guy. Everything else is pretty good. The knees... Double jointed knee, no problem. You can rotate it around at the top of the boot if you want to. Then we have a full on ball hinge for the ankle so you can give them a really nice ankle rocker if you want to or bring the foot forward or back or whatever you want. So really, uh, other than a couple of smudges in the paintwork and the somewhat limited midriff articulation, it's a, it's a really solid figure and it looks really cool. Nice detail throughout. So I like it a lot and I think you guys will too. Uh, I'm not personally into this line, but uh, I definitely appreciate it, and I think you guys will like it if you are into it. There's no reason to not pick this guy up. He's really cool. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.